What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back to filming YouTube videos. It's so nice to be back. So if you guys haven't heard the news yet, the reason why I've been really quiet here on my YouTube and also on my social pages recently is because I am bringing out a brand. And that is something that I'm so excited to finally share with you guys. Um, it's not released yet. It is very, very close. And uh, I haven't told you guys what exactly it is yet, but I did announce over on my Instagram last week that I'm coming out with a brand. So yeah, it's very exciting. It's a little bit scary, um, but that is why things have been a little bit quieter here because although I've been working on it for a very, very long time, um, we're very much in the pre-launch stage now. So the past few months have been very, very hectic. So the brand is called Taylor and Rose. And even though I haven't yet revealed what it is, um, it's coming out very, very soon, um, literally in a matter of days. So if you wanna be the first to know when Taylor and Rose is launched and to find out everything about it, I will leave a link to the website below. Um, you'll see a sneak peek of the website there and also you'll be able to pop your email into the mailing list. So if you want to stay updated on everything and also maybe a of some offers as well um, definitely put your name on the mailing list and you will be the first to know when everything is out so excited to share this with you I've been working on it for so so long and it really is such an exciting time so yes that's where I've been I'm really really sorry it was really hard to do everything and um, it definitely was quite overwhelming but we're almost there. So given that I'm back to making videos now, I thought the perfect way to catch up with you guys would be to do a favorites video, seeing as I did miss last month's one. So it's basically a roundup of what I've been doing, what's been going on, and also, of course, a roundup of my favorite products as well. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with beauty. And my first two favorite products are skin saviors of mine. So these first two products are by Pestle and Mortar. Pestle and Mortar are an Irish skincare brand that have launched quite recently and they are causing such a fuss in the kind of Irish beauty industry and also internationally as well. They're becoming really, really recognized. They've also broken into America. They're doing QVC. They're doing absolutely loads. So the two products that I am absolutely obsessed with are this guy here, which is the Hyaluronic Serum. It's basically my everyday serum that I pop on after I cleanse my face, before my moisturizer. It's pure Hyaluronic Serum and it is incredible. It costs about 38 euro for a bottle. Even though it does last you a long time, I think I've been a little bit overzealous with using it. So recently I've started to really just use a drop as recommended. Um, a drop really does go a long way. You can cover your whole face with it. And what this does is it kind of just really really, really hydrates your skin. Hyaluronic Serum is known for its amazing hydration properties. And what I personally noticed is that my skin feels more hydrated, but the texture and the pigmentation of my skin, like the color of my skin is a lot more even. And I've been using this daily and I will be straight out to repurchase this once it runs out. The second product by Pestle and Mortar is the Superstar Retinol Night Oil. And this is so, so amazing. This really is one of their cult products. It's about 70 euro, I believe. So it's not cheap and cheerful, but it really, really does work. So retinol is one of the only ingredients that is proven to combat and kind of reverse the signs of aging. There are very few ingredients that can do this and retinol is one of those ingredients. So this comes in the form of a night oil that I pop on my skin every night before I go to bed. It's um, a really, really lovely consistency. It doesn't have a strong perfumed smell. Um, it's got kind of a natural-ish consistency. It kind of feels... Um, not too sticky or not too oily. I use one small pump of this on my forehead and then I distribute it all over my face and it feels amazing on my skin. But again, what I've noticed from this is my skin's pigmentation and my skin's texture has become much more smoother. And this is another product that I will definitely be repurchasing as soon as it runs out. So another skincare favorite of mine are the treatments that I've been getting at number three Herbert Street. I know I've mentioned them here on my channel before, but I'm still going through my course of chemical peel 
deals with number three Herbert Street and the results have been so, so amazing. Particularly on my back, we've been doing peels on my back and shoulders because I was just having kind of a problem area there and I was exfoliating it loads, but it just wasn't working. I was still getting clogged pores and like tiny blackheads, so annoying. So the chemical peels that we did on that area really, really, really helped. It's so much smoother, it's completely clear now and it just makes me more comfortable wearing all the like bardot and strapless tops that I love wearing in the summer. So the next skincare favorite of mine is an updated version of a classic and it is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I have spoken about Ultra Facial Cream on this channel so many times before. It's my favorite everyday moisturizer. It's just great under makeup. It feels amazing on your skin. It doesn't clog your pores. But this newly launched version of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream has a broad spectrum SPF 30. The one thing that I didn't like about the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream was that it didn't have an SPF so it wasn't protecting me from the sun. And then they went and updated it and made it everything that I could want in a daily moisturizer. I've been using this non-stop and I'm so impressed. It's amazing under makeup. Even though it has such a high SPF in it, it doesn't clog your pores. Wearing an SPF every single day is key. If you're leaving the house, you put it on. So that's what I've been doing and it's great. It's an affordable product. I think it's around or under 30. I know this size of the Ultra Facial Cream is 28. So I think this is around the same, but I will be straight out to repurchase this once it's empty and it has become a skincare essential for me. Moving on to beauty favorites, I have one makeup product that really stands out for me as a monthly favorite and it is the Chanel Soleil de Tan and it is my new obsession. So one of my friends, Nula, also has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it below. And she has said to me before how much she loves her product and I've also seen her use it on her channel. And the idea behind it is that you use this with kind of a kabuki foundation brush and it basically just adds warmth to your skin and I'm someone who doesn't use that much bronzer or contour I'm kind of afraid of it sometimes whereas I can sometimes also look kind of pale so what I do now when I do my foundation as I'm finishing my base I basically use my kabuki brush whip it around in this and go over the tops of my forehead my jawline here and also my cheekbones and then a little bit on my temples as well and it just adds like health to your face it just makes you look healthy and a little bit sun-kissed and just so glowy and lovely. And what I also love about this product is that there's only one color, there's just one shade. It's around the 50 euro mark, which definitely is pricey for makeup, but you do get quite a lot of product in it. I actually kind of wish this was in a smaller container, which would make it a bit more travel friendly, but at the same time, it is a beautiful packaging. And it's kind of nice to have some products in your makeup collection that are this kind of pretty and bougie. So it does look really, really nice on my little makeup stand. But yeah, I'm absolutely hooked and it is definitely my beauty favorite of the month. Next up in my favorites I'm going to move on to a scent and it is this Diptyque candle and it is in the scent Feu de Bois. I could be butchering that, I don't know, but it is such a nice smelling candle. I actually got this as a Christmas present so like six months ago and it sat on my shelf in a little bell jar looking pretty and just never ever being used and then eventually I thought feck it, just light the candle and enjoy it and it is the nicest smelling candle ever. It's got the most beautiful oaky woody scent and that is my favorite smell for candles. It's very cozy. It's just so, so nice. It's really lovely to have burning in the sitting room. It just gives this really nice kind of homey vibe. I also really like the color as well and Oh, it just smells amazing. And you can rest assured that when this eventually burns down, I will be scooping out the wax and using it for my makeup brushes because it's just too pretty to throw away. So next up in my favorites, I have a piece of jewelry and it is this pendant that I'm wearing from Tower Jewelers. And it is this absolutely beautiful pendant. I'm just gonna get in real close so you can see it. It is an aquamarine stone and it's in a setting of nine carat yellow gold and it's so pretty. So if you haven't checked out Tower Jewelers before, they're a family owned Irish jewelry brand and they're so, so amazing. They do really beautiful fine jewelry as well, but this pendant is actually part of their untold stories collections. So that is kind of a more fashion led and contemporary section of their jewelry range. Um, everything is still semi-precious stones and handmade and it's still amazing quality, but 
but it's a bit more contemporary and the price is a bit more affordable as well and this one I just think is so so beautiful this particular pendant I know they have in different colors but this blue color is just so striking I'm so so happy with it and this was actually a gift from them which was so so incredibly sweet and I'm absolutely in love with it so a big thank you to them so moving on to fashion I have a handbag favorite to show you and it is this absolutely beautiful gray and gold bag these gold details I just think they're so so beautiful I shared this bag on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago um, because it was a dupe of the Prada Cahir astrology bag and you guys absolutely went nuts for it. You loved it so, so much and I love it as well. I've been wearing it loads. It's a really great everyday bag. It actually has quite a lot of space to fit all your essentials. I'll give you guys a look. It's got two pockets here, a little pocket at the back. It fits everything you could need and it's just so, so pretty. This is also incredible value as well. It's under 30 euro and it's from a website that I've shopped on loads of times before. They do amazing bags and amazing designer dupe bags as well. So I will leave a link to it below if you wanna check it out. It actually comes in red and black as well. The gray was my favorite, but I'm really, really tempted to get the red one as well. So let me know what you think. So another fashion favorite of mine is this kind of Bardot style off the shoulder top from Shein. It has absolutely massive sleeves as you can see. And it's just just so whimsical and summery and just so fun. I love it so, so much. I also really like that it has these little straps as well. So it stops it from falling down and it kind of sits where it should. You can adjust these as well, which is really, really handy. And again, this is from Shein, which is a website that I shop on so, so much. It's really, really affordable. It does take a while for things to arrive. So when you are buying, you want to leave yourself maybe two to three weeks for your items to arrive. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But really you kind of don't mind because the prices are so affordable and the quality is great and for the price that it was I think it was about 18 euros it's so so impressive so I'll leave a link to this below I hope it's still in stock for you guys and size wise I think I usually go for mediums in Shein either a medium or a small but I will double check and I'll leave what size I got in the description below as well so the last fashion favorites is a little bit different and it's something that I was so excited to hear about and it is a pair of computer glasses from Amber Eyewear so Amber Eyewear are an Irish brand they're recently launched and they have designed a collection of computer glasses that are designed to protect your eyes from screens. So whether it's editing videos, replying to emails or whatever other work I'm doing, I spend so much time at this computer behind me and when I'm not on this computer behind me, I'm on my phone and when I'm not on my phone, I'm on my iPad. So I'm pretty much always looking at a screen. So while my vision is perfect now, thank the universe, I know that over time I will start to damage my eyesight by constantly looking at a screen. It's something to do with the light on a computer screen that's unnatural for our eyes and these glasses have like that blue light filter that filters out the harsh lights that the computer screen will emit so while it also softens the glare of a screen it actually filters out those harmful lights but the main thing about them and the reason why they're a fashion favorite is because they're so cute so the pair that I got are so gorgeous. This style is called the Zenith and they're 46 euro and I think that they are so adorable. Like I would wear these as a fashion accessory. If you wanted to do a look where you wanted to wear glasses and maybe wear something really casual, I actually think they're so, so cute. So to have something like this to be able to wear but also protects my eyes from the work that I do is such a dream. These are a new Irish company and they have a really, really great product. So if you are interested in something like this, or if you know someone who is on a computer screen a lot and needs something like this, definitely send them on the link. I will leave everything below. And they have lots of other styles of glasses as well. Obviously it's not just this style. So definitely check them out. I am so delighted with these and I've been wearing them loads. So that is it for all of my favorites this month. As always, I will leave links to everything in the description below if you're interested. And yeah, it feels so, so good to be back making videos for you guys. You can expect regular ones again from now on. My schedule has lessened a little bit. Obviously, like I said, I'm so, so ready to launch Taylor and Rose. It's happening really, really soon. I cannot wait. And if you want to hear more about it, please do follow the link in the description below and pop your email in the mailing list. I would be so, so delighted if you did that. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will leave a link up here. I would love to have you back for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.